see the first one coming up on your screen right now. It's Pure versus Someday. So Najin, EM Fire, the only team to have two of its players represented here in the final six. And with Pure versus Someday, of course, from KT Rolster. So looks like they're already through with the picks and bands. It's going to be Pure's Annie versus Someday's Lulu. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Double Mage coming in. Annie, of course, we've seen a fantastic showing on. We saw Faker playing that earlier in the tournament. Uh, very strong in that 1v1, lots of range harass. Lulu, though, same. Very safe champion, specifically if she makes it to that level 6. It's the wild growth. Enables a lot of sustain in the lane. But she also has that passive shield off picks on her E. So this is going to be an interesting matchup between these two. Both obviously very skilled mechanical players. They made it this far in the tournament. Further than Faker or any member of SKT for that matter. So... We'll have to see what's going to happen when these guys clash, as we can see, though, with picks and bans. Nothing too shocking coming out. Uh, the cannon has been having a stomping performance in the latter half of this tournament. But, of course, Caitlyn, Graves, Lucian, you have to take away the ADCs as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. And specifically uh, against uh, against Pure, you're going to ban mm -hmm. all AD carries all the time anyway. Uh, so seeing him take Annie, I uh, actually saw another AD carry... Uh, or yesterday i believe it was uh do the same thing uh, pick annie when the rest of those uh those 80 carries were banned i mean there are still 80 carries you can pick um you know things like uh like i guess callista is kind of the go-to is for for a lot of people we've also seen misfortune a lot in this tournament as well and that's had a pretty good showing as long as you're able to manage the double shot uh well and get that harass out and so we've seen that one so still on the table but I'm going to go for the Annie nonetheless, even though and, his options are about him. And uh, that's going to do it for our picks and bans. That means that we're going to uh, take a short break before we get into our first game of the night. But before we get into game, do you want to make sure that you, we let you guys know about the charity that Solo King is supporting? It's Extra Life. It supports children's hospitals around the nation. So definitely scroll right down below your screen, click on the Extra Life button. That'll let you know more about uh, how you can donate to help that out. And... To keep up with all the Solo King information, make sure to hit the follow button right down below the stream. It lets you know whenever we go live with more Solo King action. But with that out of the way, I think it's time to get into our first game of the night. So thank you guys for sticking around. Let's get this game underway. Alright, and here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the Solo King, a Korean 1v1 tournament broadcast here on Azubu TV. My name's Rapid, with me is Achilles, and we're getting into our first best of three of the night. It's going to be a round robin series, best of three between Pure and Someday. And if at all possible, I believe my uh, co-caster is still, uh, still with me, but we'll see if we can get things all synced up and uh and ready to go so i am the, uh, here with you let's I always go anywhere as we get into uh getting into this so let's go ahead and talk about both uh both players uh pure over the course of his uh his trip through the solo king tournament actually had uh a, a trip that was a little bit easier than maybe most people he played against uh Raim, uh the it, uh, incredible miracle athena player and of course also then took out pilot 2-1 but he's playing against Sunday, and Sunday's games yesterday actually looked a little bit rough. He lost uh, the first game versus Marin, and then wound up winning the next two to come back from behind, and then win uh, his uh, spot here in the round of six. All right, I believe that I have my technical difficulties taken right. care of. <laughs> so uh, it looks like we should be synced up at 123, 124. 125. Yeah, that would be correct. All right, Sounds excellent. good to me. All right, it's time for some solo king. We got wards placed in the middle lane already. A uh, scrying orb picked up there for Pure's Annie. So uh, I really like the scrying orb buys. I feel like you can, you know, scrying orb the bush right before you walk into it. And sometimes it's those precious seconds. The saves you gets you an extra auto attack in. Definitely helps you chase through those bushes on the side lane. 
The downside of this match is that someday we'll be playing Lulu. And uh, when somebody played Lulu yesterday, he sat still in mid lane and spammed laugh for the first like two minutes of the game. So hopefully he uh, he's too busy actually playing the game to do that this time around. Well, so far so good. As we can see, he's just opting to go ahead and CS this time, playing a bit aggressively, shoving the lane up to the tower. Now throwing a little bit of press down back and forth between these two as they exchange some blows. Overall, relatively yeah. the same coming out. Some days Lulu starting with 50 AP at level one, so wow. that is uh, that is somewhat high. So a lot of uh, a lot of early flat AP runes. Uh, I wouldn't say that he put blues in for AP or AP in for his uh, his his uh, glyphs, but at the same time, he's getting that 50 AP from somewhere. It did start with Dorian's Ring too, which is going to give him a lot more uh, starting ability power than most mages that would start that flask. Yeah, typically you had about 24 AP with a general page, but he's he wants to go for that full aggression. Even so, he's not really playing that aggressively right now. He's mostly focusing on the CS, which he's being caught, you know, caught up with with Pure. Ooh, nice. and Pure traded, made those the, those uh, trades in the middle of a cannon wave. Usually yeah. when you're going into auto attack, especially early on in the first like two or three levels, minions actually deal almost more damage than champions. So if you're going to go in to fight the other guy, you should probably make sure that he doesn't just kill you, flash it through the turret. Someday, almost died to that second turret shot coming in, but both flashes traded out already. Yeah, that's the uh, hyper aggression that I was expecting to see given his amount of AP here. Not able to find the kill, however. Q not connecting now. A little bit out of mana. Gonna go ahead and ward down. And up to recall. He's got that teleport, so he'll get right back in here. Little bit of a CS lead. It's gonna be just about tied up as Pure cleans up this wave. So he should uh, he should stay fairly even. As we can see, opting for the double Doran's ring. Grabbing some potions as well. So the staple build coming in. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, no flash on Annie is actually a really big deal. Uh, oh, yeah. Flash for Annie is pretty much the way that she uses her spells because it's not really a big mystery. What Annie's going to do is like, oh, she's in range to kill me. I'm not going to let her do that. But, uh, of course, Flash makes that possible. Flash Tibber's a great way to uh, to win the game. We've seen that actually be the victory condition several times already uh, in, the, uh, in the Solo King. So now that someday, while he may not have Flash either, he does have the ability to polymorph you, slow you down with Glitter Lances. So you can definitely still impair your movement without needing Flash to uh, close in for the kill there. We'll have to see uh, what's, uh, what's going to happen as far as the difference in aggression. As far as the items are concerned, double Dorans versus just one but a little bit more sustain there for Pure. Yeah, he's also, for some day, he also has that range extension if he throws picks onto a minion or even just onto Pure, which will give him that added advantage. So, he, you know, like you said, Flash not as much of a necessity for him. Oh, you see now, nice for us. Yeah, right through the minion wave. And as uh, pretty much part for the course this game, some day is just shoving the wave into turret over and over again. And even with the most recent change on uh, Annie's Incinerate, she's still having some problems keeping up with both killing the minions under the turret and keeping that harassment off. Yeah, absolutely just getting ripped through right now for Pure. He's just chugging down those Crystalline Flask charges, trying to sustain himself. But it's, uh, it's, it's a losing battle thus far. As we can see, oh, Glitterant's not going to connect. That would have been a huge chunk of his HP had it. So that will uh, keep him in here for a, a bit longer as he tries to trade back. Nice stun comes through. He rips a little bit of HP off someday, but he still has a couple potions that are going to help sustain him. Meanwhile, this, the CS is uh, is the game right now. Pure down by just about five so far. Yeah, and Pure, of course, keep in mind, he's, uh, he's a support player for Najin, uh, not necessarily their starting support all, all the time, subs out with mm. Kane every once in a while, and so it's interesting to see him go for the Annie when maybe, uh, you know, other player, other, uh, you know, champions like uh, Callista, like, uh, like we were talking earlier, Miss Fortune, uh, might have been better you know, aggressive 1v1s. He uh, went with a champion that he knew he was more comfortable with, not necessarily the one that was strongest in the 1v1. Yeah, and sometimes that's just what it comes down to, I suppose. We did, we've did. we seen some very interesting picks in this tournament. Uh, oh, no. One oh, more auto wow. attack, even with Tibbers up. I don't think he actually had the stun up for that either. So, going to get a quick instant replay. Uh, make sure to pay attention to Pure.
See if he gets that stun around him just in time for Mr. Tibbers to come down. I think he casts one spell. Nope, he just doesn't no. have the stun up. So even though Tibbers came down, it was not enough to keep him alive. Yep, still one spell away from that stun. That much-needed stun with the Tibbers will uh, cost him his life. Someday, picks up his first win, though. At 1-0. So, solid start for him. Yeah, that's uh, it's going to be game one for someday. And this is the opposite of the way that he started his games off yesterday. Uh, <laughs> he lost the first game and then had to fight his way back through it. So, now that he's ahead one game, let's see how that works out. Uh, keep in mind, yesterday, Pure uh, had a 2-0 victory over Trace. Generic Green Wings carries. So, it's not, uh, it's not necessarily something that we've been used to, uh, the, the comebacks. Very, very mm -hmm. rare in the Solo King, but someday had one yesterday. We'll see if maybe Pure gets his revenge today. Yeah, and maybe we can go to that round three blind pick, which is ever popular. At least it's my favorite part of this tournament. And it's always interesting to see what happens when the bans are taken away. Um, but, you know, bans are something else that we're going to have to see in focus here. Decide what is going to be taken away this time. I'm sure that Lulu might not make it through. But who knows? Of course, uh, like we said, there are plenty of other aggressive picks that Pure could go for here if he wants to go for that misfortune. And maybe one of the other ADCs will make it through that he'll want to use. We'll have to see what happens when we get into that pick and ban phase. All right, so a couple of things to talk about here. Uh, bans should still be primarily just 80 carries. Uh, you'll see someday ban 380 carries versus Pure. Uh, <laughs> just because even though Pure is a support player, he does play a lot of 80 carries too. And so uh, banning the Ezreal, that's kind of a new one, but he was allowed to ban Ezreal because Pure was actually the one that banned Caitlyn because he's actually his second pick, so you can't leave too many things up. Whoa, Insta-lock oh. on the Kale. Yeah, this was taken away. For that first round, so let's go ahead and go straight for that one. So locks it in. Zero hesitation. As we can see, Pure on the other hand, taking his time. Trying to consider what he wants to take into this matchup, because Kale is that could be a rough one. It definitely. It was the champion that Shy actually used to make it all the way to the round of uh, round of uh, 12, 12, I believe yeah. it was. Yeah, and even though Shy did lose 2-1 to Tucson last night, that was primarily because his Kale was actually banned away against him every single game. Uh, Kale, one of only two champions in League of Legends that has area of effect auto attacks, uh, second one being Jinx, and uh, a great way to both harass your opponent and push the wave at the same time. Makes it a pretty strong combo. Plus, you have sustain in lane from Holy Fervor, and then, of course, you've also... Uh, they have the ability to turn invincible for several seconds, so a pretty handy ability to have in 1v1s. Yeah, very much so, but as we can see, Pure gonna go ahead and opt to take the Lulu that his opponent, uh, you know, utilized against him in that first game. We'll have to see if uh, he can try his hand on that and have better results than he did on his Annie. We did see a pretty commanding presence in lane with that champion, so... But like you said, a lot of sustain and a lot of harass and just a lot of range too on Kale. So this is going to be very interesting to see uh, if he's going to be able to keep himself up in this lane against such just, a, I guess, I don't know how else to say it, a good 1v1 champion. <laughs> Exactly. So this is going to be a little bit difficult for uh, for Pure to handle. Uh, keep in mind, Pure's previous trips through the... Uh, through the Solo King, did, uh, you know, nothing against the other players that he played against, but Someday has just shown over and over again that he knows exactly not only what champions he's supposed to play, but what champions his opponents play. And uh, if you look at the most played champions for Pure over the course of his uh, his Solo King run, well, uh, you're going to see a lot of them in the ban category there. <laughs> so uh, no, uh, no surprise there. Uh, over the course of the group stage, Pure played Ezreal. <laughs> He played Graves, and he played Lucian. Of course, he also played a Rek'Sai game once, but that was uh, that was not a normal game. Let's just put it that way. So to take a look at the runes and masteries here, you can see the 15 flat uh, AD, as well as uh, magic resistance, magic penetration, and health in uh, seals. Or uh, armor penetration. There we go. 
<laughs> and then of course for masteries uh should be almost the same as what we saw yesterday uh no points in dangerous game no points in spell weaving or blade weaving but look at that the hybrid runes going for both ability power and ad yeah he wants to weave in the auto attacks and uh well you know utilize those to the fullest advantage so mm -hmm. not too surprising seeing those ones come in also uh going for six three in defense and utility just to make sure he has as much health regeneration as possible of course also uh putting some points in blocking and uh the one point in the percentage health increase not actually all that impactful so you you could sub that one out for a point in maybe like blade weaving or something like that but probably not going to uh not going to save you too much on the rune page Yeah, Let's see. not too much else to look at in this regard. Let's so I'd switch over to Some Days. See All what right. he's got going on. Some Day has literally the exact same rune page, with the exception that he put AD instead of AP, and of course has those. Uh, or is that AD? Uh, he's got 15% attack speed, so that's fairly standard from the. Uh, but he does have ability power quintessences. Okay, okay, that's what I was looking for. And he too went with mm. the, almost the exact same hybrid offense tree, but took the point out of um, out of the spell blade and put it into extra attack speed. So he has all that attack speed from the beginning of the offense tree and no points in mana regen. Uh, put all those points into uh, the defense tree. Yeah, we'll have to see if the mana becomes an issue for him in lane. Likely going to see, you know, one of two starts, either the Doran's Ring or the Crystalline Flask. Crystalline Flask is just going to offer him that much more sustain mm -hmm. on top of what he already has. Uh, though he may want to get a little ballsy and go for mm -hmm. the ring and just go hyper aggressive. As we saw, he did have those attack speed in there, so he's probably going to be right. playing quite aggressively. Well, let's go ahead and get into our second game of the night. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Solo King. Game number two in our best of three versus uh, between Someday and Pure. Pure, of course, losing game number one. Someday, okay, Chud's... <laughs> the Chudnator <laughs> always gets me. He flashes, teleports, this crazy stuff at level one. Uh, fortunately, couldn't use his Ignite, but... Uh... Anyway, <laughs> lots of laughing going on at the beginning of this. Even though it's kind of game point for Someday. If he wins this matchup, he advances to the finals. Of course, we'll be seeing the winners and the losers of these games a little bit later on, depending on who wins, because it is a round-robin format for today. We have all three matches, uh, including every single one of the players who advance to the round of six. And then, of course, the winners will play the winners, the losers will play the losers, and then, of course, the losers of the losers will play each other and uh for for elimination from the tournament at the end of the day we'll, we'll have four players remaining coming in for our grand finals on the 8th so you don't want to miss those and uh just a quick reminder if you don't want to miss any of the games from the solo king make sure to hit that follow button right down below the stream and that will let you know whenever we go live all righty as we can see pure finally making his way into the lane Someday's been sitting around for a little while. He's got that ward over the wall. Might try some cheeky play. Get the catch. We don't have a scrying orb actually this time. Oh, Someday is uh, very sneaky, and there you can see it's going to be from the, uh, side. the dangerous game. The great escape. Uh, uh, and oh, he does he have that ward over the wall. That was actually really good ward placement, so he can use that wall to juke around. <laughs> As you can see, yep, uh, almost dead even HPs at this point. They trade back a couple auto attacks, and I think a Glitter Lance. But already, Righteous Fury Pop just sweeping down the lane. Clearing out these minions to the best of his ability. As we see, we do have the double Doran's Ring start with potions. If you're often to stick around and get that extra one. So that's going to help him out a bit. And he's, uh, you know, 
trading back quite nicely here against yeah. Someday. Someday was trying to use that last minion in the lane to uh, as sort of a, a bartering ship. It's like, do you want to hit the minion or me? But there weren't any minions that were going to kill it, so Pure just walked up and hit him in the face several times. So Someday a little bit lower on the HP. Uh, both mid laners actually starting with Doran's ring instead of uh, the Crystalline Flask sustain build, and man, Someday keeps running into these Glitter Lances. It is, uh, it's not looking good if he keeps taking that free damage. Yeah, he's got the attack speed to trade back, but pure combined with the Glitter Lances with the auto attacks that he's weaving in, since he did take that hybrid build, he's just absolutely devastating Someday's HP right now, especially uh, when the pick shot is coming through as well onto Someday. So you can see it's just a heck of a lot of harass that Glitter Lance goes through. Takes him to about 50%. So far, just about dead even in health. He tries to aggress. He's actually getting some good damage down on Pure. Push, pushes him back underneath the tower. Pure does not have any mana potions now running low. Someday as well. Doesn't have too much. He can cast his Righteous Fury a couple more times. Divine, maybe one Divine Blessing in there before he runs him. But both of them are going to be very reliant on this Doran Ring regeneration from this point until they back. Now, level 6s won't be coming for a while, which actually means that Kales, because of Divine Blessing, has a really big advantage in the lane. Because mm -hmm. you'll continue to get HP back. The area of effect auto attacks from uh, from Righteous Fury, she can shove that wave so quickly that Pure's going to have a difficult time taking a trip back to base. Yeah, he's going to have to sacrifice either going back and getting an item advantage, which will get, I don't know, it'll open up someday. Uh, but he'll also have to sacrifice losing CS and having someday get that advantage. You can also get some additional damage in on the tower. Of course, that is one of our win conditions as well. So not that not to be discredited as we see Pure not opting to go back. Walking in on that ward, so someday does spot him out. Comes back around the side, though. Not going to be able to... be very careful here. Uh, someday... Yeah. I'm not sure he has enough mana to go both Reckoning and Righteous Fury and get in there with a slow. But at the same time, Fury is going to get zoned off from this creep wave. And that was a cannon minion wave, so it actually would have been a pretty decent opportunity for him to go back to base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out there it actually is the Reckoning. Not going to be enough. The shield from Pix comes out. Will keep Pure alive, but barely so. Going to actually have to back off this time. And now falling behind in CS, down by 11, which is more than you need to be down once you hit that 100 CS mark, of course. That is our other win condition. So we'll have to see if this is going to continue being a fairly aggressive game or if they're going to start farming up. So you can see Pure kind of go ahead and clear out that wave as much as he possibly can, get himself back in. Triple Doran's rings now. Unsurprising there, but the Reckoning comes down. Someday just firing damage onto Pure with that Righteous Fury. Fires back. Transforms uh, him, but Pure gonna making it so low. Yeah, he's yeah, got, this... got hit by that second Reckoning in a row, and that was a great way to, uh, great way to win the trade. And as far as sustain goes, both players with potions, but only Someday has an actual way to heal himself. Yeah, and Pure also doesn't have a mana potion. He's already running himself down a bit. The... Doran's Rings will give him a bit back, but not as much as Someday is going to have. And as we can see, that <laughs> that Divine Blessing is already starting to heal him fairly significantly. And this is uh, looking ever grim now for Pure as this matchup continues. Just completely being zoned off. Not able to get in for these uh, minions at all. Man, it's going to start to get really, really rough here for Pure. He's uh, He's got the wave shoved away from him, so uh, he's going to have to walk up, take that Reckoning, maybe trade away with the Glitter Lance. If somebody had been able to flash that Glitter Lance, keep in mind both players running both Teleport and Flash, so level 6 here for Someday. So he knows if he walks under turret and tries to you know, do anything too aggressive, he's just going to get Polymorph and die. <laughs> yeah, he also can't discredit the power of that Wild Growth on Lulu. Immense amount of HP gain, but as we can see, he goes in with the Reckoning yet again, just laying down with the Righteous Fury Autos. And Pure just in a very bad spot right now. 
Yeah, and I don't think he has that shield from help picks back up off cooldown just yet. So someday, really winning out this 1v1. Kale just such a difficult champion to lane against. And, you know, you don't really see Kale all that much in competitive play anymore. Uh, but as far as it comes to the 1v1, definitely one of the strongest 1v1 champions we've seen yet. Yep. Pure force to go ahead and recall yet again. It's gonna oh, have to I be think using... Pure might have just lost to turret damage. Someday can kill the turret here. He's got a cannon minion wave coming up. Area of effect auto attacks to put the damage down, but he's actually just gonna take a free trip back to base for himself and grab the same number of Doran's rings. Yeah, unsurprising in that regard. Pure force to just go ahead and whimsy back to his lane as much as possible. Like you said, something pretty confidently did have the damage to lay into that tower especially with the hybrid page probably could have just gone ahead and won the game right there we'll have to see if that's going to cost him the game or if he's going to come back into lane and just still have this dominating performance that he's had thus far now, before right now someday actually hadn't taken any damage on his turret just because he had been the one in control of the game there is the slow there's the whimsy to come out and yeah polymorphing someday to force him to back off yeah, good counter-aggression. As soon as that Reckoning comes out, that should be the first thing that Pure does every single time. Of course, it's got a bit of a cooldown on that Whimsy. It's like an 18 second start and scales down from there. Nice Righteous Fury damage coming through yet again, but they're still a fairly even right now. Both of them have plenty of both health and mana potions to keep them sustained this time around. Someday though, those heals are immense at this point. Yeah, the longer this lane goes on, the further Someday gets ahead. Uh, he's also about 10 CS ahead in CS, or but whoa, going in, there's the aggression, the knockup, there's a, ooh, which nice intervention does block the majority of that damage, forces a flash out. Will we see Someday flash on in here? He didn't have the cooldown on Reckoning up just yet, so wasn't able to flash in there and pick up a kill. Yep, gonna be another back now, third for pure. Does have the teleport. Wait, Again. Wait, he picked up boots. That's oh, a this horrible is item in a Oh, he's one. teleporting onto the minion. Trying he's to trying deny to... it. I guess he kind of figures out that, uh, you know, we're for, far enough into the game that he doesn't need the decreased cooldown on uh, on teleport because the game's going to end before it comes up again anyway. Yeah. As you can see now, someday almost at that 80 CS mark, pure. Barely fall behind, far behind at 65. This wave's gonna bring him closer, but very close to that win condition for some days. Just gotta get 20 more CS and then be 10 up over top of Pure to win that game. And he is already 12 CS up, so that's not actually gonna be all that difficult a win condition. So for Pure, he knows he needs to win the game now, but he's behind an entire Doran's ring. And while he does have boots, I don't know exactly how well boots are gonna help him when it actually just comes to dishing out the 1v1 damage. Uh, boots are traditionally a bad item to buy in 1v1s because you're spending money on something that doesn't give you any combat stats. So he better be able to use that move speed to his advantage here. Otherwise, someday it's just gonna walk on him. And there we go, moving forward, turn into a tiny little snowman. See if he wants to build one after this, probably not enjoying it too much yeah i mean it gets a decent amount of damage down but it's only a matter of time for the divine blessing comes up wild growth comes out from pure flash forward by someday he's gonna find the kill and that's gonna be a 2-0 for someday over pure as we can see the replay coming in right now now, it's it actually, a lot of aggressive play. Yeah, starts off not too badly for Pure when he gets a nice ultimate to disengage, but Someday has his flash up, and unfortunately, Pure does not, having flashed away defensively earlier. That will give the kill to Someday, a 2 0 victory over Pure. Yeah, so that is a uh, that is why you ban Kale in the 1v1. Very much a powerhouse. Once you hit that uh, triple.